leave school um, early and drive myself into the city to do like any photo shoot I can like do or find. Oh, and yeah, I would do things for free or whatever, just so I can get pictures and like try to see what I can do. So being able to work with Valentino is like way more than a dream. Like, yeah, it's been amazing. No, I, I feel you on my, my journey has been very similar to that. Mm -hmm. I traveled a lot and I was like, did like the whole like, you know, artist just like uh, traveling, like, like sort of like a gypsy energy and to finally have an opportunity to like collaborate and like work and like bring like my point of view to like, you know, such a coveted and like respected, you know, brand is just has been, it's almost one of those moments where you got to like pinch yourself a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's it's been really insane. Um, but anyways, I wanted to ask you, like, what, how has it, have you, like, you have the makeup in front of you, right? I have everything. Oh, beautiful. If I could just ask you, like, I, I really want to know, what's been, like, one of your, like, favorite products so far that, like, you've, you've used that is ours? And that's such a hard question to ask. No, I have, I can, okay, wait. I have mine open. I'm literally, like, already almost done with it. Oh my gosh. Love. Okay, it's not this, but the illuminator thing. Oh, the V lighter. Yeah, the obsessed lighter. with it. I'm, yeah. I can just put that on and leave my house. It's probably by far like my number one, like every day has to be my makeup routine. Um, yeah. I'm obsessed. Do you ever put it on the eyes, like before eyeshadow? I put it every. I put it like like it's moisturizing. Yeah, I love it. It, it literally is because it's like a skincare formula, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, have we done base or anything? Have no. we like done a little bit of foundation? Um, <laughs> should I? Can we do that together? Do you still have the V lighter with you? Huh? Do you still have the V lighter with you? Yes. <laughs> Should we do a little bit of that? Um, okay. While we do that, though, what, what has your, like, beauty journey been like, like, so far? Did you, like, experiment a lot with makeup? Um. Or are you doing that now? In high school, I feel like... I didn't try a lot of new things just because I went to a private school. It was the same thing every day. I wore the same clothes every day. So I never really tried with makeup. I had like the stuff I would wear every day, but I don't know. I would do my makeup in the car on the way to school. So like it wasn't really <laughs> anything crazy. I would always wake up late. Um, now I've gotten to experience a lot more. I've worked with so many amazing artists who have like, I take everything I'm like, okay, how do I do this? What am I doing? Like stuff like that. So it's been really great to learn. I've really discovered the power of like baking and powder. Yeah. So I feel like that's changed my makeup game. It changes the game for sure. It's insane. We love okay, her. I have this, I'm gonna put it everywhere. Yeah, I wish I had mine with me because uh, I love doing that on the high points of my face too. Do you ever mix the, the 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 bronzy color as well? Like, there's like two shades in this. I I think you have the rosso. You want? Oh, if this one came in too, I'm fine with that. Um, right. Yeah, I, I feel you. I used to experiment a lot. I wouldn't do my makeup per se like on my way to school but like as soon as my parents like drop me off I'm like pulling stuff out of my backpack that like <laughs> I would hide so it's I, makeup has definitely been like a very personal ex um, medium for me as an artist to just like self-express myself it's it's been really cool I feel like I always get so scared because I never do my makeup when um I have nothing to do, so I never experiment it. I'm like, okay, well, I can either try something new and it could possibly go awful and then I have no time 
or I can just do what I know. So I. <laughs> well, I mean, I, there's this thing that I always say, and it's I always say it's makeup. You have to just make it up as you go. Like, you have to go through like the struggle and like the really bad looks before you get to like a place that you're like, this is my look. Like I got this down because. Mm -hmm. I used to do this thing with my brows where like it was like full on like blocked brows. It was not a cute look. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like my brows are the only thing where I'm like I'm pretty comfortable with like I don't want anyone else doing it but me. But everything yeah. else I trust you, like go for it, whatever. But I don't right. want I don't even let, like, I don't get them done or anything. I just do it myself because I'm so scared of, like, I hear so many horror stories. I twist them yeah. and they've never grown back. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, back okay. the same. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, don't don't touch them. I feel like right now the whole, like, trend, like, with, like, skinny brows is, like, such a major thing. And I've been just seeing so many people do it. But I'm like, I don't know about actually, like, getting rid of your brows and, like, mm. no. <laughs> Okay, so we did a little bit of the lighter. Yes. Let's do a little bit of the foundation. That way we can start walking through, like, you know, some of my other faves. We're going to, I really want to do, like, this sort of, like, iridescent, like, holiday look, right? Mm-hmm. Sort of do that together. The, uh, what do you love about the foundation? I really love that it's, like, buildable, because like, I have problems with like my bag so like I always just put a little bit extra underneath my eyes yeah I I personally don't like using a lot um of anything on my face because I have freckles and it's like good because it doesn't yeah. really, like but it does if I need to cover this it gets rid of it so it's it's good yeah it's like one it's it's that like perfect balance between like a medium so like sh it's not even I can't even it's just like true medium coverage which I really love like, again it's buildable um but yeah what shade do you have actually I'm curious I have a couple I think I used the wrong one <laughs> I have MA three two one and four I think I okay so you have a couple yeah so you have medium um but it's like a neutral undertone and then the numbers like the depth of the um the foundation um, i i like to use um uh i always i really like to use my my hands but a sponge always works perfectly too you can never go wrong do you use it dry or wet i'm curious i use it wet i'm always curious. I, I don't want to get judged, but now that you say you do it, I'm going to... No, I mean, it, like, it, it helps. But I, I've actually, I've learned this, like, new trick, like, with when you use, um, when you use it dry, it gives you, like, more coverage. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, especially if you're, like, using, like, a sponge to, like, contour, it's always really nice. Like, I use some of the deeper tones in, um, in the, our foundation with a dry sponge to really create a beautiful sculpting, um, you know, sort of look. I always like to contour my nose as well with like a dry sponge too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> We're beating faces today, honey. We're doing makeup. I feel like the camera is not doing me justice right now because I have a mirror right in front of me and it doesn't. And you're like, this is perfect. Yeah. Well, also like it's the base. So we're gonna start adding color to this. So it's it's always nice to have a very blank canvas. Yeah, don't forget the jaw. I feel like some people do that and I'm like, girl, I can see the line. And the ears too. I feel like the ears and the jaw is always like the two things. Okay. I feel like Here this is are. so like. <laughs> You're what? I feel so much pressure right now because I'm usually like all over the place. Okay. No, I feel it's all right. It's all right. We're 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 in this journey together. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. All right. Cool. Now that we have that going, do you have my fate like the go clutch? Like one yeah. of my favorite products. Like this is literally. Have Have you ever tried baking with this? I haven't. It's I, honestly, it's a game changer. I, I'm always like scared to try new um, things again because I'm always like, I'll do new things. But <laughs> no, I feel you. I get, I get it. Well, why don't we? Yeah. So what did you say? Should I use a sponge? Oh yeah, use a sponge. Okay, so like there's a brush that comes with it, but mm -hmm. I think for this, if we're gonna try to do in like, we're gonna try to do a baking technique, what shade do you have actually with you? I have the two. Okay, so sure. press the sponge. Yeah, like, like lightly, like sort of swipe the sponge left to right on the area that you're gonna press it on. Yeah, okay. and then tap it on like your wrist or the palm of your hand to pick up any excess and then press it underneath your eye. Ooh. Yeah, you can keep like keep working it in. And then if you feel like you've sort of overdone it, you can always pick up the, um, the sponge that you use your foundation with to just sort of like melted into the skin if you feel like you've done too much product. Look at that, it's already like brightening mm -hmm. underneath. And then you can do a little bit like right in there. Do you have the bronzer as well? Um, wait, right here? Yeah, like the, the Go Clutch bronzer. There's like a universal bronzer too that's like my favorite and it's like amazing for sculpting. I do not think I do. All right, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna incorporate it into <laughs> this list, but I was like, if we got it, like we'll throw in that extra step. Okay. But I love. I love this powder. Like this is like one of my favorite powders that I love to use like underneath the eye. There's not a lot of products that like look flawless and don't create texture because sometimes, and I'm gonna start getting all scientific. Scientific is that sometimes the molecules are too big, but this is just so fine and delicate that it, it just, it gives you this beautiful poreless finish. How does it feel? It's more shiny, but it's not. Which no, I, that's it's not. I thought it was more like highlightery, but it's very like, just kind of like Yeah, no, it's not, it's, it's, it's really smooth. I love, love, love this powder. Um, okay, cool. So now that we have actually put a little bit over your lid. Okay. I always love to do a little bit of this powder is like on the lid before I do shadow or anything like that to give me a bit of, um, for it to like hold on to, um, any shadows that I put on the eye. And so, it, cause sometimes I'm not making any sense. Sometimes <laughs> if you start directly applying like eyeshadows onto like lids without setting um the base it mm -hmm. starts to get a little like um not blended if that makes any sense it starts to look a little like textury because you're just like swiveling color on there without having a, a set base mm -hmm. so with that said do you have our eye to cheek yes. So let me have you grab that. I'm gonna do this with you actually. What colors do you have? I have the, it's just numbers, right? I don't wanna like. Yeah. No, okay, no, no, it's, it's just numbers, you're cool. Okay, I have four, I have um, uh, two, uh, one. Do you have nine 11. by any? Three, nine, I have nine. Okay, let's grab number nine. Okay. And then you have this little guy, right? This little brush. Mm -hmm. So we're going to press. And then I only like to press one side. And then so the side that has the product, you're gonna use that on the actual crease 
and you're going to work side oh to side. This is the scary part. <laughs> I know, I know. But okay, so wait, wait, wait. I'm, you're already, wait. So and you're actually doing this instead of doing this. You want to make sure that you apply the color in the crease. Ver exactly. There you go. But work it into the yeah. eye. Oh, God. And that starts giving you that cut crease effect without getting the product on your lid. Oh. You know? Because okay. sometimes it's like hard when you only have like these type of brushes where it's like they're very full but there's a technique to this and if you know the technique then like this is this is going to become your best friend but yeah so i love to just do that and then whatever i have left over i'll pull into the temples of my cheek and then you can just sort of swivel in circular motions and that starts giving you that sort of draping look you can pick up more product if you like too circular and so with this if you if you're not an expert it's always better to start back here and then pull the color forward yeah and then don't forget your fingers are your best friend so you can even just use that to sort of buff buff that baby in and it starts giving you that soft Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Love. All right. So let's do the other side. That way we're balanced. I I also really like to pick up like a darker shade and apply it on the ends of the eye if you want a little bit more depth. Mm -hmm. But I think we're going to do something a little softer today. I feel like that's, you know, it's daytime where you're at right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting up. Right. Okay. Cute. And I like this shade because it's like one of those like, it's not as intense. So like if you're starting to like do the tra draping technique, it's always nice to start with like a not, um, not too, it's always better to work with like a sheerer shade that mm -hmm. way it's, it doesn't, like, if you don't know how to blend it properly, it's not, like, too intense. Mm hmm Okay, cool. So now that we have that going on, let's follow with, actually, do you have the um, Color Flip eye palette? Yes. All right. So let's, let's pick up this shade. Okay. I really love this, like, sort of, um, it looks like an opal. It's like an opalescent shade. It's the, it's called Pearl. So I love picking this up. But what I really love about these formulas is that I like to mix them in the palm of my hand. And then whatever's left over, I'll use on my lid and I'll press it on there. And that starts giving me that really pretty sort of like daytime glowy look. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't left over, you can pop it on the cheek, on the high points of your cheek as well. And that gives you that extra highlighted effect. I love that we're doing makeup together. I know. <laughs> <laughs> This is like, wow. Yeah, isn't, isn't that insane? I'm just so happy about the hack you just taught me because I feel like everything's right. falling down and I never know like how to, to keep it that. from like having that fallout. No, I feel you. I, I'm telling you, it's like whenever you pressing any product is like, is going to be your best friend. Because I, I used to do the same thing where it was like, I would start like applying and I'd start blending and then I'd have all this fallout like underneath my eyes and stuff or like on my clients. And I'm, you just, sometimes you can't have that because there's people that are very particular about how they want their makeup done and it always has to be flawless. So pressing is super important. Okay. There we go. Now let's do a little mascara. I feel like we need to, we need to, 
really bring this look together. Okay. Um, Do you have the magnificent in their trip with, with my mascara? Do you feel like you're doing like a lot? Like, have you been doing like eyeliner looks? Like my thing, I love playing around with like graphic looks. Like, do you feel like you've been sort of doing that too when you experiment? Um, I've recently been able to do my own eyeliner, but the only thing is I can't do it with any foundation because I have to be able to like remove it to make it a perfect yeah. point. So yeah. hopefully at some point I can just do it without doing that. Yeah. I don't uh I don't think I have a mascara. I have all the brow um, stuff. Okay. I don't know that no. we can use that for mascara. But I'll I'll, I'll um yeah, we'll just like curl those and then just like fluff them up a little bit. But let's do a little brow. That sounds like a great idea. Okay, okay, never mind. I have you one. You do have. <laughs> well, this, like, I use this one all the time, but I wasn't looking at anything in my drawers. No, I feel it. It's cool. So my technique with with eyelashes, like I'm super particular about my eyelashes, and so whenever I want to have that like feline shape that cat, cat eye shape without doing a wing so start applying your mascara how you normally do you're going to as you start working towards that outer part of the eye you're going to angle it and you're going to pull outwards yeah there you go and it starts pulling out your lashes and it starts creating that sort of cat eye yeah so do it how you normally do and then start working it in yeah do you have like a spoolie there or like a clean um, wand by any chance? Mm -hmm. I always like to go over them again after that with a clean, with a spoolie and just like pulling, pull them outwards. I love this mascara so much. It looks really good. Yeah, it like really makes like the lashes pop, right? It's super dark too, which I like. Yeah. I feel like I always mess up like on one side. Like, like you feel like you get like product on your lid or something, or like it just doesn't <laughs> come out flared like how you want them to. It's a mix. I usually get something on my face or, oh my gosh, they all are like <laughs> together or something. I think it's because I can't see what I'm doing this side. Okay. Yeah, I always feel like it's so difficult doing like makeup on live sometimes because you literally can't see every detail. But then I bet you like once you have like the opportunity to look closer, you're gonna be like, oh, this actually looks really good. <laughs> like I'm looking at the mirror right behind me. I'm, it looks really good. No, it does. I probably would say like, let's do a little bit more like eye to cheek. Okay. Let's do a little bit more, but let's do a different color this time. Okay. Do you have like one of the, like that really bright sort of, um, it's like a really bright pink. I think it might be like three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm, that one. Is that two? This one? is one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do that one. So let's, and then again, let's do the same thing where we're like tapping on the outer part and then you can use your fingers to sort of um, buff the product into the skin. <laughs> I love that you're doing that technique. <laughs> like, so scary. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And then, like, bring it to, out on the cheek. Gorge. Yeah. This is kind of for the, um, I mean, obviously, it didn't look like this, but for the show, the Valentino show, I, did like beautiful everywhere. 
Oh, I love that. How was that, by the way? It was so amazing. Yeah. Isn't it like there's like this energy that like exists when you're at these shows that you just I I like get so emotional because you just see so many people's like hard work go into like mm -hmm. this production. And you're just like wow. It was so pretty and it was my first um like show. So it was really, really Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. It was very nice to be there. Yeah. I was at that show too. I don't think I saw you. But there was like so, it was like there was so it much was going on. Act and yeah. yeah, many people. But it was so much fun. But I, what well, I think what I really love about like Fashion Week and fashion shows is that people love to dress up. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I don't recognize like mm -hmm. some of my ears and stuff because I'm like oh okay you, you came in a look <laughs> okay all right there we go all right so let's do a lip let's do a Rosso Valentino lip what colors do you have actually let's do like 100 okay 100 or 111 do you what hundreds do you have because uh, I feel like could we do a nude or what are you feeling like a bright red? Because I feel like a red could also work with this. I mean, let's try it. I'm done. No, yeah, let's, let's go for the red. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Good. Should I just do it? Okay. Well, yeah. So I, what I really love about this bullet is that it's so pointed that like you can, I always like to start in the center and just shape my Cupid's bow. And since you're far away, you can use the cap to like, yeah to see to see your your application that's what i really love about this multi-use packaging there i like low-key even want to do it myself let's see I actually even let's do a little bit of that It's like so bold, I love it. And it's so pigmented too. It's like just one stroke and it gives you this really opaque color. Mm -hmm. How do you like the formula? What is that? I feel like you have the matte, right? Uh, this, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is a matte. Yeah. How are you Cute. not? No, 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 yeah, yeah, no, you're fine. <laughs> So soft, like it doesn't even feel like you have it on, right? No, I feel like the, the whole scariest thing about red lipstick or like dark lipstick is that you can feel it and it's all over the place. But no, I really feel like you have more control. It kind of just feels like chapstick, like it's so yeah. dry, like natural, like it feels so like organic. Just like putting it on doesn't feel like heavy. Or like it's like heavily scented or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Ew. Okay, let's do let's do a little bit of our dream dust. Okay. This is like one of those products where it's like you really have to like you have to be like a little bit more focused when applying this. Like, yeah, you could go full on, but if you want to do like a very soft touch, like I always like to do a little bit on the palm of my hand. Okay. I'll apply a little bit on there. And then I'll pick up with my finger because my finger is my favorite brush and then I'll press it onto the lip. And this gives me this really beautiful dimension. Yeah. but also like it, you can't even feel this right no not at all yeah 
I even like to do a little bit more with the actual brush just on the cupid's bow. <laughs> It's like, it's like one of those things where it's like you want to jump through the screen and like play too. Like when you were doing the mascara, it's like, I always open my mouth too. Cause when I'm doing mascara, I do this. So mm -hmm. like I start mimicking, it's really weird. <laughs> I, and I've noticed that other people do it too. I think it's like this like, human thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love the blush so much. Like... Yeah, it's really beautiful. Okay, what are, we're missing brows. We need to do brows. That's like, I think our final step for this look. Yes. So I, what I really love about this is that it has like multiple uses, a wand, my favorite, the pen. This is also really great if you're like practicing like eyeliner because mm -hmm. you can like sketch out your eye and then the formula soft enough to like sort of um, it's ma it's malleable, so you can like change the shape if you'd like. So I always like to start off by brushing the brows first mm -hmm. with this spoolie. Oh wait, where did you get? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! Did like... you have the eyeliner? Uh. I... <laughs> brow but now I'm, I'm just realizing it said black I don't know okay. <laughs> you're cool <laughs> okay. perfect so for the most part I'm sure you do this too. you don't really touch the front of your brow right because it's so full yeah so I always like to like, cause I'm, I have like very full brow too. I, my whole thing is like, I just like to use, sometimes I'll use the pencil if I really want to get in there, but the pen is like my favorite. So I just like to fill in any gaps that I have on the tail end of my brow. And voila. And then I'll just like brush through my brows again just to get like any excess product. Love. This brow is always a mess. I'm like. <laughs> I honestly, though, I'm not going to lie. I feel like my left side in general is there's always something going on like it's like i think i sleep on it so like it throws everything <laughs> off for some reason like it's like changed the shape of my face okay okay there we go great there we go Love, I think this is our look, right? Mm -hmm. feel, you know what, last step, let's throw on a little bit more of that V-lighter on top of the makeup. I always love doing a little bit of that just as a finishing touch. Like here? Yeah, like I literally boop, boop, and then use all four of your fingers to like buff it out, yeah. Oh, wow. There we go. See, it just adds that like extra dimension. Mm -hmm. And the formulas are all meant to work with each other. So like you can layer yeah, even I on top of the powder. Makeup, like I'll put something on, I'll put something over. And then the first thing is just like ripping off like my face. Yeah, it's the worst. And then you have like a gap or like, mm -hmm. a You're like what happened? Yeah. Oh. Cool, there we go. Gorge. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> um, what was I gonna say? So I don't know. Do we have any questions about the makeup? I'm like, I didn't even like really look through the comments. Really, I feel like everyone's just like obsessed, right? So maybe I'll ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If you could be stuck on a remote island with just like one of these products, what would they be and why? <laughs> okay I'm gonna probably say the foundation or okay. brow pencil foundation because there is SPF so I feel like that's gonna be necessary on an island <laughs> or my eyebrows because I feel like I just always feel better when they're done so right. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous well, I had so much fun doing this with you. Thank you so much for taking the time. So nice meeting you. Um, yeah. I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.